Okay, we have pissed off quite a few um, uh, re you know, religious organisations. You know, been arrested at the Vatican. We've had Lord Provost, Provost of Glasgow deem us as being offensive and and whatnot, and you know, we're banned from various states. Although we've never been placated by by fundamentalist groups, we've never had people sort of march on on the shows or, or banner them or anything like that which is kind of odd even in the deep south um, but I think that's because we investigate what we do isn't we not and you know we're not irreligious as such otherwise we wouldn't even set foot in a church and I spent a lot of time in in lots of countries including India and uh, I have a lot of respect for other people's beliefs and my own beliefs are a, a bit like a without going too mentally philosophical. Um, uh, I guess Luciferian in the fact that it's, I wouldn't call it Satanism and I wouldn't, I would call it, I'd edge that with mythology and bits pinched and pilfered from all kinds of different religions and belief systems. It's a bit like a trivial p pursuit puzzle, but most of the colors are quite dark. So no orange or bright yellows then. The fact that Band members live in three different countries is not a big problem because everything is, we do like um, Pro tool sessions, we send everything to each other, keep abreast of what's new to changes and what have you, and then we'll hook up for a few weeks in a live scenario where we'll all input and pull more ideas together, or we'll do it on the back of a tour, you know, we might be on tour get, as we did on the last tour we were on, came up with lots of ideas, went our separate ways send files backwards and forth, build up profiles of songs and then hook up and then you know put them all together and then before we go into the studio we'll do a big session where we'll spend like two or three weeks um, running through it all so I mean it's it's as conducive really as living close to each other Martin lives in Czech Republic, some of us live in England um, Paul's back and forth from America at the moment you'd, you'd kind of think that, that would actually be some kind of I don't know problem when it comes to writing but we all we all write things we send ideas back and forth they, they get structured mainly Paul does the structuring of all the songs so he'll take ideas from different people and just exclude them all together and then at the end you just end up with a really really good mix and match of, of all the different parts that everyone's contributed. I think it actually doesn't affect the writing process at all because you know nowadays it's pretty easy you know, to work you know via the internet, you know, so we can send uh, actually all the files or through emails and using <coughs> all like uh, just uh, different FTPs and stuff like that, so uh, so it's pretty easy I would say. We have been going up for a while but um, I think it, we, we're still pretty fresh uh, with our ideas and that. I think when people say, oh god, you, you know, you're running, do you ever run out of ideas or inspiration? And what have you? It's like, how can anybody run out of inspiration when you're really into something? Um, and we are really into the fire. Still there as much as it was in the beginning. And quite frankly, the pantomime money at Christmas is very, very good. It's in the blood. It has to be for doing something this long and putting up the crap we have to put up with on tour, and like basically living like a bunch of like scumbags. Yeah, he, something has to be there for you to keep going. Yeah, America's a, a, a favourite place because I think it's just because we've got a lot of friends there and uh, it's like, a, it's an event. You just don't go over there for a couple of days or a few weeks, you know, it's a, it's a full-on seven-week trek. Um, but we also like exotic locations as well, something different, like I mentioned about going to Kathmandu and India, um, Japan and Australia, obviously. Uh, England's always good for us as well. Heck, we like you know we like playing. Heck, we like playing everywhere really. I really enjoyed the gigs in Russia last year, and then before that, gigs in Eastern Europe were really really fun as well because the crowd crowds there were just absolutely amazing. And I'm really looking forward to playing South America again because I remembered that last time I played there, I just had a little taste of what it'd be like playing in Maiden, seeing as the crowd was singing the guitar lines louder than the PA. What's next for Cradle of Filth? Um... Well, the release of the album. Uh, we have a possible gig in Kathmandu, of all places. Um, one in India, I think, in uh, Bangalore. A South American tour. Um, and then a possibility of uh, a cruise 
show called 70,000 Tons of Metal, which is obviously a reference to the ship we're on. I suppose touring, touring a lot, which uh, I'm very looking forward to. So because I love touring, I mean, it's, it's the best way, you know, to, to, to show, you know, our, actually, our, all the different levels, you know, of music and, uh, you know, everything, you know, our expressions and everything, stuff like that. So, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, I suppose touring a lot. And then we start a big American tour, whatever. Um, we also have, I've got a poetry book in the offing, which um, I'll probably get around to finishing at some point. And there's also an orchestral album that we've halfway through finishing, which I'd like to see the release of at some point next year. It's not elevator music, it's like proper big sort of Danny Elfman um, affair with um, tracks from our first four records being mistreated 